Okay. So now let's say you want to do a live stream on CastGuard. It's real easy. If you've done, if you've done PeerTube before or YouTube or even 3Speak it's, or Vim, it's, they're all the same. It's very easy. You just go to Publish here. Or publish up here in the corner. And then you click on the Go Live tab. And then you're going to tell it the channel. And it's whether it's going to be public, unlisted, private, or internal. <clears throat> internal means that only people on Cast Garden can see it. Um, private is only people that you share the URL to. Unlisted means that it will not be shown on the recently added page. Um, public is pretty much is anybody, just like it says. Okay, now there's a normal live and then a permanent reoccurring live. This is where people get confused. Normal live, you stream only once. Stream key is only good once. Um, so if you plan on making any kind of changes to it or you want it to automatically post after you're done, um, this is what you use. If you want something that you can permanently jump onto and keep the same stream key all the time and record locally that you want to use a permanent recurring live. So we'll just do a normal live like that. This says, then it says go live. You hit the go live and then you can set up your title, your tags, just like on the others, like you're uploading a video, your category, your license, your language. Then you go over here to your live settings. This is important. This is the URL right here. This is going to be the same URL for all of your live streams. RTMP Cast Garden colon 1935 slash live. That's your, your streaming URL that only you give out. Don't give it out to other people. And then this is your live stream key. This is a random set of numbers. I can show you this because I am not going to make this be things these are randomly assigned to the to this live stream and since we clicked on a normal live meaning that it cannot be used again this key will not be the same ever again for any other stream so once you connect to this and you connect to it once successfully and then you end the live you cannot go do it again so if you so if you're anticipating connection problems, use the re the recurring live. <clears throat> so being a permanent re permanent or recurring live, um, this is uh, okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I messed up. This is a normal live. <laughs> okay, so you can only stream to it once. If you enable the replay, it'll be saved as the same URL that you have as your live. So it will be post like this. Um, if you do a recurring permanent live, each time you end and you've got this button here, automatically publish a replay when your live ends, each time you end that live, it will be saved and posted as a separate video. Um, what you do not do that because you will fill up the server extremely fast and it's not it's not meant to be good so do not automatically publish a replay unless it is a normal live if you're not planning on doing any any editing to the video and you want it to be just like it was when you when you did it live then you can hit the automatically publish a replay when you when your live ends. Um, so since this is a normal live, we'll leave that checked. And then you hit the update button, and boom, Bob, your uncle, you're ready to go. Oh, you're also you can also put in your thumbnail before you hit the update button, because you know that way it's got something pretty to show on the recently added. <laughs> Quick little tip on OBS Studio. When you are streaming, I can bring it down here. 
when you go to stream, get your settings and go to um, your video. I think it's video. Maybe it's stream. No. Output. There it is. Advanced. And then you go down and make sure your keyframe interval is set at two seconds. 2S. Um, I don't know why, but that does make a difference. So, just, just so you know, um, a lot of streaming places that you stream to, whether it's Twitch, YouTube, Cast Garden, Vim, Theta, whoever, make sure your keyframes are set at two seconds. Otherwise, it won't won't connect. It has something to do with RTMP and the way it works. I don't know. I'm not a techie guy. I just know. Set it for two seconds. And then once you hit that publish button or update button down there, when you go to recently had it, oh, excuse me, you will see your 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 live stream on the recently added page. So there you have it. You can share out from there when you go to a URL. You can share that out. So there you go. That's how you live stream on Cast Garden. It's stupid simple. Why ain't you doing it? Streams a lot better than anything else.